Hey guys, so this is going to be a Halloween special. I was going to do it. I was going to do anything today. But it's necessary, considering I just started talking about it. The old dude, old dude, he's not old yet. He's my age. The big guy told me about Keebs, Big Notes, Crooks, the baby fuckers of the planet. They like to sacrifice Goyim and children, especially on Halloween. So a lot of children are going to be abducted today. A lot of us are going to be sacrificed to Moloch or whatever the fuck. So I'm looking up connections, a connection with Jews and Halloween. Let me just show you. Give me a second, because this shit happens. My wait. Can you see it? Oh wait, you can't see it. Did you celebrate Halloween? Jewish virtual library. And here I see this word, Korb, Korbanat. I've never seen that word in my life. But let's click on it and see how. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's exactly what I get for smoking cigarettes. Don't smoke. This is, it, this is what I open. This is what I see. This page, a long page, right? A long, long page. With, it's all blank. But this is all there is on this page. So I'm thinking, what was deleted? Because I don't see anything that has to do with that word in this. But however, it's there. It's right there. As you can see, Corbinot. Sacrifices and offerings. Halloween? What? So, I look up sacrifice and offerings. Uh, I look up, let's see what I look up. Corbinot and Halloween. Jewish practices and rituals, sacrifices and offerings. Carbonot. I hope you guys can hear me. Okay. You can understand why I'm smoking folks in there right now, I think. The word carbonate is usually translated as sacrifices or offerings. <clears throat> However, both of these terms suggest a loss of something or giving up of something, and although that is certainly a part of the ritual, that is not at all the literal meaning of the Hebrew word. The word carbonate comes from the root kafresh bet, which means to draw near and indicates the primary purpose of offering to draw us near to God. What God are they talking about? I mean, their they're God is Satan, literally. Parts of the rituals involved in the offering of carbonate were performed exclusively by the Kohenim priests. These rituals were only performed in the temple in Jerusalem. Their procedures could not be performed by anyone else and could not be performed in any other place because the temple no longer exists. We can no, lo we can no longer offer carbonate my ass. So, basically, yesterday we were, what, shopping or something, or I, I, maybe it was the day before. I think it was the day before. We were shopping, we were like at some cheese glue or something. And there was a Jew, I guess a Jew or something, I didn't realize it was a Jew. But he had, he was, he had some strings hanging from his pants or something. And those those strings symbolize um, the Goyim slaves that he's going to have. I need to look this up. Just give me a second. Okay. I found it. Tzitzit. T-Z-I-T. Z-I-T. Most people don't think of Judaism as a French religion, yet that's our uniform. Under the church, Jewish men and boys wear a poncho called a talit keten, literally small cloak with fringes hanging from each corner, just as the Torah d uh, prescribes. Numbers 1537 to 40. They shall make fringes on the corners of their garments. These fringes, called sitzit, are coiled and knotted to remind us of these strings. You saw a guy wearing these strings. Of all the mitzvit, mitzvit? The numerical values of the letters that 
comprise the Hebrew word sitzit, uh, add up to 600, add the eight strings and five knots to each sitzit, and the total is 613. Now you understand why it's customary to... You caught that, right? Can anyone please describe what that noise is? Because ever since I opened this dough, this has been making that noise, and I think that's why someone threw it out. Maybe it's being hacked, I don't know, it's something wrong with the hard drive, I'm not sure what it is, but... Now you understand why it's customary to let the zizit hang out at the waist, in plain eyesight, having tangible reminder of the 613 mitzvah, in turn strikes our ma mastery over the temptations of the heart. So let's look up what mitzvah means, because I'm not sure what that means, as I am a goyim. I, I need to like break the shit down to you guys so you can I you you guys can understand what you're celebrating when you're running around and going trick or treat It's primary. Um Mitzvah List of Mitzvah Mitzvah Let me see Going slaves. I'm telling you, you have no idea what this shit is about. A list of the 300, uh, 300, 613 misfit commandments. Below is a list of the 613 misfit commandments. It is based pri primarily on the list compiled by Rambam in the Mishnah Torah, but I have consulted other sources as well. As I said in the page on Halakha, Rambam's list is probably the worst widely accepted list but it is not the only one the order is my own as are the explanations of how some rules are derived from some dual passages anyway i wrote that for no reason give me a second <coughs> so you guys might want to see this jufac.org slash 613.htm Type it down if you want to see it, because you might want to see this information. Um, basically, they wear these strings that symbolizes them obtaining goyim slaves. Um, every year on Halloween, they like to sacrifice a lot of goys. I think mostly on Halloween, they like to. So... We're celebrating probably a fucking satanic holiday. I, I shit you not, I shit you not. So, um, probably don't want to do that. But we do it regardless. For example, I've been eating a shit ton of candy, and check out my short. I don't know if you've seen it yet. This is my human costume. Can you see it? I'm an alien. I kind of look like one, don't I? So, before you let your kids go outside on their own to go trick-or-treating and knock on some creepers' houses, you might want to consider going with them or staying at home and watching some movies or creepypastas like don't put your children at risk, don't put yourselves at risk, and it probably be smart if you stayed home. God bless, and have a good night. It is like the afternoon. It's like, well, it's like the noon, actually. It's not afternoon. Technically, it's afternoon, because it's like 12.09, so it's not specifically noon, but yeah. OCD. Anyway, that's it. I'm gonna run around and do stuff, because I'm not gonna stay in front of a fucking... I'm not gonna sit in front of a fucking camera and be bored. So... Yeah, think about what I said. Toodles.